Casper's been making big moves lately, but the price action doesn't really reflect it. And that's got a lot of people asking questions. So in this video, I wanna talk about Casper's price, the recent smart contract launch through Casplex, the possibility, yes, possibility of a Binance listing and some important network updates that maybe you guys have missed. So first, let's talk about price. Right now, Casper is stuck trading in a tight range, under 10 cents, around about 8.1 cents the last time I looked. Now for a project that's often hyped as the next Bitcoin, that's frustrating for holders. Why isn't the price moving? Well, part of it comes down to minor sell pressure. New coins are constantly entering circulation and that creates downward pressure unless demand grows much faster. Now, another factor is that the broader market hasn't really woken up yet. Bitcoin and Ethereum are also consolidating. So Casper's not unique here, but it does feel like we're waiting for a spark. Despite that pullback from about nine cents right back towards seven or eight cents, some analysts actually see this as a healthy accumulation phase. Now they argue it's an opportunity and not a breakdown. Me personally, I'm taking advantage of that opportunity. Now, one of the reasons is Casper's tokenomics. There's no pre-mine, no insider allocations, no lock bags. Every CAS out there has been mined or bought on the open market. And that's rare in crypto today. And it gives Casper a kind of fair launch narrative that strengthens long-term confidence. Now, about that potential spark, smart contracts. Yes, Casper now has smart contract support despite the delay. But this comes through Casplex, a layer two solution built on Casper. And this opens the door for DeFi, NFTs, gaming, DAOs, and much more to run on Casper's network. It's a massive step forward. Casper is no longer just digital money. Now, developers are already experimenting. Reports show Casplex and Egra are fully EVM compatible on test networks with gas costs over 200 times lower than Ethereum. Now the infrastructure isn't perfect yet. RPC nodes and relayers still need polish, but it's a huge step forward towards usable apps. And the core roadmap doesn't stop here. The Casper team is still working on Dagnite, ZK L1 to L2 bridges, reverse MEV auctions, and Oracle voting mechanisms, all aimed at making Casper's ecosystem more secure and more scalable. On-chain usage is also growing. Daily transactions recently hit 1.9 million in September, and that's serious activity for a chain that many people think is still just getting started. Now on the mining side, hash rate has surged roughly 12-fold, now sitting at around about 1.4 exahash per second. Now that's pushing miners to constantly upgrade hardware, which adds selling pressure in the short term, but also shows how competitive Casper mining has become. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, Binance. Will Casper get a Binance listing? Well, as always, there's no official confirmation yet, but speculation is heating up. Casper is already listed on multiple exchanges and with trading volumes consistently strong, it's getting harder and harder for Binance to ignore. Historically, a Binance listing has been a huge catalyst bringing liquidity, exposure and mainstream recognition for many altcoins. So CZ, if you're watching this, why give all that Casper trading volume to Kraken? Why let your competitors scoop up all those fees? List Casper on Binance and take some of that volume for yourself. It's good for Binance, it's good for Casper, and it's good for the traders who want access on the biggest exchange in the world. It's a no-brainer, so please list Casper on Binance. Now, here's something a lot of people overlook. Casper isn't just another altcoin chasing hype. It's proof of work, just like Bitcoin, but it's built on a block DAG architecture that lets it process transactions far faster and at higher volumes. That means it combines Bitcoin's security model with a speed that actually fits the demands of modern blockchain use cases. And that's why so many people in the community call it digital cash or even the next Bitcoin. It's fair launched, no insiders, and it's totally decentralized. Now, in a market full of pre-mined tokens, VCs, and centralized control, Casper stands out as something entirely different. So when you look at price action today and see Casper stuck under 10 cents, remember, that is just the surface. 
underneath the fundamentals are building massively. Network activity is up, miners are scaling, smart contracts are live on L2, and developers are already testing dApps. Pair that with a Binance listing or another big exchange push, and the project could very quickly step into the spotlight in a way that many tokens, and especially Casper, just hasn't yet. So here's my final take. Casper has the fundamentals, it has the tech, and now it's got smart contracts live. The price hasn't moved yet, but the ingredients are still there. Strong tokenomics, growing network activity, and the potential for major exchange listings. Not only Binance, but Coinbase as well. This, to me, feels like a cold spring. Patient now and explosive later. But I want to know what you guys think. Are smart contracts enough to wake Casper up or does it really need that Binance or Coinbase listing to break out of this range? Now, right now, it is slightly creeping above eight. It's about 8.1 cents now. Will it keep going? Only time will tell. Drop your thoughts down below in the comments, guys. I'll be reading every single one of them. And also, if you don't already, come and follow me over on X. I am Rational Ape and we can start pushing this narrative together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another video.